Philippians 1, 18 through 20. Philippians 18, 1 through 20. What then? Only that in every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is proclaimed. Therein I rejoice, yea, and will rejoice. <laughs> through Christ, we have so much to rejoice and praise God over. We should be sharing Him. His joy that comes through us by having Him should proclaim Him, praise Him, share His truth. It should just pour out of us. And I believe Paul didn't meet a person who knew didn't know he was a Christian. What a testimony. Let's live in a way to where our relationship pours out in us. People hear the truth without us even making an attempt to share. Because when we do dig and share, we'll make an impact. For I know this that shall turn out to my salvation through your supplication and through the supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ. We're saved by what Jesus did. We're not saved by anything we did. It's by the work of the cross. Our salvation is by the, Him. By the fact that He died for us. Paul did a lot of works in the name of the Lord. But it was only by Jesus that he was ever saved. It's only by us that we're ever saved. Our works mean nothing without Jesus. And only by the cross does our works mean a thing. According to my present earnest expectation and hope, that in nothing shall I be put to shame, but that with all boldness, as always, as so now also Christ shall be magnified in body, whether by life or by death. So Paul saying, I'm not ashamed. I'm going to boldly proclaim the gospel. All they can do is kill me. And if they do, let it glory be given to God. As long as I live, I'm going to serve him, proclaim him. But if they kill me, let that be a message that glorifies God. Don't discount God if this happens. But praise him no more. Whether I live, whether I die, I'm in Christ. We need to live with this attitude. It's a very good attitude Paul had. A Christian attitude. We need to be like-minded with Christ and have the same attitude.